Hi, Steve Gilligan here, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about the process of generative trance and the workshops that um, I offer that allow you to have a deep experience of generative trance in terms of its applications, not only to your personal life, but any work that you're doing with others in the world. Um, I've been working with trance for over 40 years. And so a lot of times people say, well, uh, what is trance? I've, I've learned something about hypnosis. How is generative trance any different? So when we, we use the term generative trance, we're using it to differentiate it from the unfortunate idea that a lot of people have developed about hypnosis as uh, putting somebody into a sleep state and then putting these suggestions in them that you hope will have a positive effect. That is an old-fashioned idea, and we would consider that not really that creative and really disrespectful of a person's own need and their own capacity to find their own solutions. Um, I was a student of Milton Erickson. Milton Erickson developed this amazing um, emphasis on how the unconscious is not um, a uh, something to be programmed, but a very wise intelligence that needs to be connected to and invited. Um, however, um, often in that Ericksonian hypnosis, there was this emphasis on the technique of the hypnotist being primary in terms of the experience of the client. So when we do generative trance, we're really looking at, uh, in some ways, a, a new way of working with trance, a way in which you are looking to connect not only to your conscious mind, which is sort of the navigator, it's sort of the manager, it's sort of the realist, it's the representative of the social world, and, and put it into this creative conversation to your creative unconscious, which has a very, very different way of being, a different way of thinking that's um, at the heart of um, uh, dreams, at the heart of play, uh, at the heart of healing. Um, and so what we're looking to do in generative trance is have this connection um, help people into this connection to feel this flow of imagination that goes um, between the two worlds. So in the training, what we look at is in order to do that well, um, you first want to really get into a state of openness. That's going to be a little bit challenging for people. So we really look to help people to find the state of calm, open curiosity, and then to establish some simple but important positive goal in terms of what, how they'd really like to invite their unconscious to participate in, in a creative process. And then the really fun stuff begins to happen in which you begin to move into this playground, if you will, or you get to swim in safely in this ocean of different possibilities in which you realize that um, any thought that you had, um, any uh, way that you had of thinking about yourself or the world can be experienced in so many, many different ways. And so trance is a way of sort of letting go of your fixed ideas and being able to experience uh, many new possible forms um, of how to experience the same thing. So, for example, uh, if you have uh, some negative experience with your body, pain, or a negative habit with food or smoking cigarettes, what trance would allow you to do is to feel that sort of fixed negative image that's driving those negative behaviors, release it, and then discover that in a trance, you can feel, you can create, you can um, connect to your body so that it moves into a really, really healthy place that instead of pain, it can be able to create a lot of pleasure. Instead of acting out negatively, 
it can be able to um, act in a lot of positive ways. So this is what we're looking to do in generative trance. And in the workshops, you will learn to do that. You get sort of both the theoretical maps of the steps of how to do that. Uh, you'll get to um, practice not only being in a trance yourself, but helping others in a trance. And I'm fairly confident that you'll come out of that thinking, wow, that was really very interesting. I really learned something practically about creativity and how to enjoy my life and how to look forward uh, to every challenge that I face so that I can make it into a, a, a really creative outcome. So that's just a little touch about generative trance and uh, hope to see you in one of the workshops. Bye for now.